Okay, so the device we have here is a Windows tablet PC 10 inch. It's a digital 2 model number D2105W. Got a customer that gave me their Windows 10 tablet and they said the wireless wasn't working. And as you can see down there on the network, it shows Red X and there's no wireless showing there. So I went to the device manager. So you go down here and go up to settings. And it's supposed to bring up your settings, but for some reason it is not doing anything. Okay, so I restarted it. Let's see if the settings will work this time. There they go. Okay, now I'm in settings. Go to our devices. And then our scroll down to device manager. And look at the wireless adapter right here. There is that uh, yellow exclamation point. Click on that. Right there it reads status device power failure. So, that's not good. Okay, I don't know if you can read that, but I got this AirLink 101 USB adapter. It's a wireless in USB adapter. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in the USB. And as you can see down here, we now have a wireless option. And then uh, now I can set up my wireless. And then see if we can uh, fix this internal wireless issue. Okay, so I got the wireless connected now. A little blue lights blink in there. And uh, I'm going to let it run updates and uh, I'm going to disable and re-enable that uh, wireless device. So we're going to go to our settings again. And then we're going to uh, go to our devices. And then our scroll down to device manager. And our, and our bad. Click on our bad one here. Alright, so driver remove it or let's let's see if update will work okay so the best one's installed so disable it and enable it still has a yellow exclamation point all right, uninstall it, and then we'll make it auto search, and it reinstalled it. Still has an issue, so I was able to get it to work. Um, I had to do a reinstall of the Windows on it, and I did it by going here, and then go to settings, and then go to um, updates and security, uh, and then go to recovery. And then I went to restart this PC. I went to get started. And then I uh, clicked on the one that said uh, keep, keep my files. And then I uh, went through that process and that uh, took care of the problem. So I'm going to run the updates and see if maybe one of the Windows updates is what, the, uh, what initially started the problem to begin with. So we'll see. Alright, so here's the updates that it's installing, and uh, we're going to see if any of these cause the wireless device to fail again. Alright, so these uh, are saying that they need a restart in order to finish, and I would like to restart now. Well, we got a few more updates that needs to run. We'll see if these go through. And then uh, make sure the wireless still works, but so far so good. Okay, this update requires a restart, so let's do that and see if it still works. Alright, so it finished installing those updates, and now it's looking for more. And the wireless is still working. Yay, so I just checked, and all the updates are 
up to date. So we can look at the history by clicking on advanced options there and view the update history and then just see if anything um, had a problem. So all these say successfully installed. Nothing says uh, install failed. So that's a good thing. All right, so everything's working great now. I'm not 100% sure what uh, caused the initial failure, but I have everything uh, updated. Um, all the Windows updates are installed and complete. So just doing the restore, uh, doing the reinstall of the Windows operating system fixed the problem. And uh, I'm not real sure what originally caused the problem, but it's fixed now for sure. So, there you go.